Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm doing another makeup tutorial using this NYC Love Addicts by Demi eyeshadow palette. I asked you guys in my last makeup tutorial where I used this if you would like to see another makeup tutorial done with this. And a lot of you guys said that you would love to see more tutorials done with this palette. Had one of you guys say that this color here in the palette was like a similar shade to the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in the color Amber Rush, and it is a pretty close dupe to it. I wanted to create a look with that eyeshadow today, and I think it is just a beautiful eyeshadow. It's just a really pretty, just copper color. It's a beautiful eye look for summer, so if you guys would like to see how to get this makeup look, just keep on watching the video, and I'm gonna go ahead and get into this tutorial. So first I'm just going to go ahead and put some shadow shields down and this is just going to catch any eyeshadow fallout that I may have. I'm going to go in with this shade right here and I'm going to put this color in the crease of my eye. And this is just going to be a transitional shade. I've also put down some concealer as an eyeshadow primer on my eyelids. Next I'm just going to go in with this brown color down here. And I'm going to use a more precise brush to apply this in my crease. And this is the e.l.f. crease brush. So I'm just gonna work it in my outer V and just take it into my crease. If you do not own this e.l.f. crease brush, I highly recommend it. It would be great if you have hooded eyes, um, or even if you don't have hooded eyes, it's a great eyeshadow brush to just be a little more precise, but it still does a great job of blending out your eyeshadow colors. Next, I'm going to go in with this very dark brown eyeshadow color in this palette. I'm going to go in with my same e.l.f. crease brush, and I'm just going to deepen out the outer V even more, take it into my crease. I just really want to get that area really defined and just have a lot of depth. So that's why I'm going in with this shade. If you didn't want to go that dark, you could just skip this step. Um, but I really want to create a lot of definition. I'm just going to go back in with that first shade that we put in the crease and my Sigma E40 brush. And I'm just going to go right up here at the top of the crease. And I'm just going to blend this out just where it looks seamless. And I also want this part of the crease to look a little warmer. I'm just going to go in with my e.l.f. Professional Eye Defining Brush and I'm going to grab the very first color here in this eyeshadow palette and I'm going to use that as my brow bone highlight and I'm just going to lightly put this here on my brow bone. Before I do the color on my eyelid, I'm just going to go ahead and do my lower lash line, the colors that I'm going to put there. And first I'm going to go in with that very first color that we used in the crease and I'm just going to be using my e.l.f. professional lip defining brush and I'm just gonna smudge this here on the lower lash line and I'm just making that look super smoky here on the lower lash line just really smoking that out I'm gonna go in with this brown here and I'm just gonna use that on the same e.l.f. lip definer brush and I'm just going to lightly put this here on the outer portion of the lower lash line just want to deepen that area out just slightly more. I'm going to go ahead and do my eyelid color and I'm just going to use this color here. And I do find that this eyeshadow, like I told you guys in the intro, is really comparable to the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in Amber Rush. It's just not quite as metallic as Amber Rush, but if you add a little bit of makeup setting spray to it or use this eyeshadow wet, it does make it more, more metallic and more intense. I wish I would have put that eyeshadow color on before I took off my shadow shields because as you can see, I do have fallout on my face. So I'm just gonna try to brush that off. And then what I can't get off, I'll just touch up with my concealer. I would say that's just like the biggest downfall to this palette is that it just has really bad eyeshadow fallout, which is so unfortunate because I really like the colors and the intensity of this eyeshadow palette. Next on my waterline, I'm just going to go in with the Fergie Wet n Wild On Edge Long Wearing Eye Pencil in Space Cake. I know I have one of you guys asking me what the new name color is for this pencil. I'm not really sure. I'll have to research it and I'll put an annotation of it here in the video for you guys. I'm pretty sure like the new color name for this is just dark brown. But I'm just going to put this here on my waterline and also on my tight line. Now I'm going to move on to my liquid liner and I'm going to use my 
Physicians Formula Eye Booster Eye Liner, and this is just a black liquid liner. And I'm going to create just like a winged out eyeliner look. If you don't feel comfortable doing a winged out eyeliner, you could totally skip that. Or if you don't like wearing eyeliner, you could totally skip the eyeliner and just go ahead and do your mascara. I just about freaked out. I thought that I didn't hit record. <laughs> And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm almost done with this eyeshadow tutorial and I thought I wasn't filming, but I am. Whew, bullet dodged. <laughs> I'm just going to be going in today with my Maybelline The Rocket Volume Express Mascara. This is one of my all-time favorite mascaras from the drugstore. I love this mascara so much. And I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in the color Ticket to Brazil. And I'm just going to put this all over my face in the areas where I would naturally get like a tan. So I'm just going to put it here in my cheekbone area and up around my temples and a little bit along my jawline and some slightly on my nose. I'm just going to go ahead and use my NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette to do some contouring. I'm just going to use this shade right here in my mini Eda brush from NARS to contour. And I'm just going to contour here in the hollowed out areas of my cheeks. I love this mini Eda brush by NARS, and I got this little mini Eda brush in the Tahiti Bronzer Laguna. For my blush color today, I'm gonna break out an old favorite. I haven't used this blush in forever, and I used to love this blush so much a couple years ago, but this is the e.l.f. blush in the color Pink Passion, and it's just a really bright neon pink color, and I just feel like this is such a beautiful pink color for the summertime. It's just so beautiful. And I'm just going to be using my Sigma Large Angle Contour F40 brush to apply this blush. And as you can see, this blush is pretty intense. So I'm just going to go in with my e.l.f. My e.l.f. Kabuki brush and I'm just going to go in and blend out this blush. I'm going to change up the order that I normally do this. I usually apply my lipstick at the very end, but I'm going to go ahead and apply my lipstick now and then I will do my highlight at the very end. But I'm going to be using this Maybelline Color Sensational lipstick in the color Power Peony. It's a beautiful, bright pink color. It's so pretty for summer. I just love this color, one of my favorites. And don't mind my lipstick face. I always make the weirdest faces whenever I put my lipstick on. I just look like I'm in pain. And then my little trick to get excess lipstick off the inside of my mouth, I just stick my finger in my mouth and also go like this and it just gets the excess excess lipstick off so I don't get it on my teeth because I'm notorious for getting lipstick on my teeth. I'm going to be busting out one of my all-time favorite highlighting products and this is my e.l.f. Baked Highlighter, Baked Highlighter, <laughs> that was so country of me, Highlighter. <laughs> this is my e.l.f. Baked Highlighter in the color Blush Gems and I love this highlight. You all know how much I love it. I love it so much that the lid broke off. And I'm just going to use this brush to apply that to my cheekbones and all the high points of my face. I'm just going to apply this um, highlight. I know that this highlight is kind of hard to get from e.l.f. I know whenever they have this color on their website, it tends to sell out really quick. But if you can get your hands on this one or the shade in Moonlit Pearls, you will not be disappointed. They are some of the best highlighters out there on the market, I feel like. They are just as good as a lot of the really high-end highlights out there. I just love them. They're so affordable and so beautiful. If you guys enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. I hope that you all have an amazing day, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.